What's happening my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and today my friends We've got a video that I see requested so we're gonna try it out I'm gonna analyze one of my most difficult matches from the weekend league no cuts no edits We're just gonna talk about what was going on and you get to see the errors the good the bad everything in between If you want to see more videos like this, please drop a thumbs up that will tell me Please bring out one of these a week or, or push out some sort of content where we get the full game and you get to see everything. Uh, and in the comments down below, if you have any suggestions for me on this type of series, what would you prefer? Feedback is always appreciated. Just before we get into the gameplay, if you need to get those custom snapbacks and hats, a roll clip. Catbeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Here we are at kickoff. You know the pro swap is coming and if you want to see more details surrounding my squad and some of the tactics the instructions just all of the above you know you get an idea here you can see it on screen uh, as we're going into making some of those changes swapping into the 41212 but i did upload the 40 and 40 and i want to say this is my 38th game in that video where i uh, upload all of the games that I play from the weekend. However, of course, it's highlights, not going to be a full match like you're going to see here. And my opponents in that 4-3-3 that I showed at the beginning of this video, which tends to be a difficult matchup, it's all about how they play. But I thought this guy was good, uh, and it took me a long time to sort of get going. In the first, uh, I'm going to say the first, probably first 40 minutes, first 45 minutes maybe even. I'm definitely getting outplayed. He just looks a little more aggressive. Uh, I, one of the most difficult uh, issues or one of the hardest uh, issues when you're looking at the, the, the weekend league is being able to bring your consistent best gameplay over and over again. As you see, he's got a lot of guys in the box. First save for Manuel Neuer. Finesse shot didn't have enough oomph behind it. And one of my mistakes that I'm making early on in this game, you're going to see... Uh, a few examples as they as they show up. I was a little bit too direct in terms of not having some of the additional buildup that's kind of a characteristic of my game. And what I mean is I'm doing a pass pass through ball or a chip through ball or I'm rushing just a tad bit. And it's fine to have that counter attack in some moments, but there's times where you need to be able to mix it up. Having that balance is crucial because it's it's no one way to play against everyone. There isn't a universal trick or a universal tip in, in terms of being able to beat every single opponent, but I, I would always say defense wins championships. And oh, that's a big defensive mistake actually there from, from myself. I stepped at my full back, and then when I moved the center back, it left a lot of opening. It's a bad finish for my opponent. He could have been up 1-0. I should have been an across the body, probably a low driven or even a regular across the body. Uh, not the best defending on my end either from the corner K. Way too much time. Another opportunity that he should do better with, but I appreciate uh, Neuer for being awake and making this happen. Uh, and, then, and then we kind of bust it out of there. But you're going to see uh, just some moments of just being a little bit too direct. And when you're in the game, it's easy to get caught going too quickly. Or And there's that chip through ball. Even though it's not a bad chip through ball, it's I, I, there's just higher percentage. Uh, and it's important to be able to, um, especially when you're in the higher games where you're up against elite opponents, you've got to, to make far less mistakes and try to go with the most efficient route anytime you're attacking uh, anytime you're defending and holding the ball is a great way to kind of shift the tempo shift the momentum wasn't a bad idea there Georgie best didn't quite squeeze it out and you're seeing me uh, trying to run back a lot with the midfield if possible but you need to be able to switch players uh, very frequent and something I brought up in uh, a video recently where I talked about I think it was the 40 and 40 actually where I, I spoke about switching players uh, at a high <laughs> uh, I guess not I'm not gonna say a high level but at a high frequency on the defensive end where Yes, I've got a midfielder, I'm bringing back. Then I switch to another midfielder, I'm bringing it back. Then I move a fullback a little bit this way. Then I move a center back a little bit this way. And you're going to notice it in the full gameplay, what I'm talking about. It's rare for me to stick on one or even two defenders or midfielders when I am trying to break up plays. It's just not going to work. Uh, you need to be frequently um, switching, swapping, moving, adjusting, uh, and making good judgments based on what your opponent's giving you. 
And you see for me, I still have not had a breakthrough, nothing clear just yet. Good decision there with the through ball. And often at the higher level in FED Champs, these decisions that you make, as you see with Griezmann there, wasn't the best work. Where you have a little bit of space, what you do with that space is going to decide if you win or lose the game. Uh, at least, or, or if you're going to score or not score. Uh, another poor move there from the corner kick. Uh, and I do score quite a few corners. Uh, I can't recall if I have one coming up soon or not in this game. I don't want to throw any spoilers out there. But you see, he kind of counters me uh, off my corner kick, which is just one of those features in FIFA that drives me crazy. And yep, it ends up being a true counter as he scores. Suarez kind of has the shield while he's turning. Uh, and it, it's, it's a great maneuver there. And uh, I just bite wrong. I don't know if it was Vieira in the box. That was switched on to Suarez. It looks like Vieira. Yeah, he's got just a little bit of a shield touch. And you can see it. His arm is extended just a tad bit. So I couldn't reach in front of him. And my timing was off. And FIFA's a game about rhythm. Uh, if your rhythm is good, then everything's flowing nicely. Kind of a risky pass there. Sometimes Ronaldo will come up with that. I wanted a quick rebuttal. It wasn't happening. I don't think I've had a shot to this point. And I would say my opponent, as you can see, a couple little skill moves, he's feeling a little bit better right now. He's feeling a little more confident. Uh, and that's something you've got to put a stop to. Games can get out of hand if you allow your opposition to get into a real groove. Uh, another chip through ball. Not bad. Uh, we cut inside with Griezmann. Griezmann to Vieira. Vieira's laying it off. I don't think the finesse shot was a bad choice. There's a mistake from me. I did a scoop turn outside with George Best. Uh, and in my opinion... Uh, I think the option was to go inside is a little more direct. I would have been able to generate some sort of shot, some sort of opportunity uh, where I could at least make the keeper have to do something. Because right now I'm kind of getting shut out in this match as we do just miss a layoff. He's fortunate on that clear out. Uh, not the best material uh, from him in terms of choices uh, out of the back. And this guy's not overly killing me on the wings, but is he using the wings in the buildup? Absolutely. And as someone who plays a narrow formation, playing against uh, formations that have wings, it's, it can be very difficult, especially at this higher level where you're no longer able to just press them into mistakes the same way. You're going to have to really earn it. And I, I feel a little bit unlucky there, but it's great judgment and then maybe a little bit of good luck with Ferdinand getting a block. That would have been goal number two and would have put me in a, oh, an entirely new predicament in terms of my comeback. Another big chip through ball. And I told myself at halftime, you got to chill out on some of these. You're doing just way too many aerial passes for the team that you have. We do get a good layoff, great first touch from Vieira, and a very rare goal, and then a finesse shot of all types of goals from Patrick Vieira. But uh, I'll take it. I watched that one back. I was shocked. I think it was the fourth goal in the, the – that was the total amount of goals that he scored for me over the weekend, four. And then that was a big one. So we are 1-4-1. One, uh, and let me get that halftime whistle. Uh, let me get that halftime. There it is. Okay. So, one all at halftime. Not deserved, um, at least in, in my mind. He didn't take his chances that well. I got a couple big time blocks. But overall, not a great first half for me. I deserved to be down a goal. Or, in this case, I'm drawn even. I did take my chance well. At the end of the day, I always talk about composure. Uh, I always talk about being able to finish. And then defense, kind of winning championships. For the most part, my defense was more bend and not break. I didn't give up breakaways. I didn't give up wide open all by himself. That didn't happen. But they did have, or my opponent did have, 50-50s that he could do a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, and now we're going into the second half. No changes. I'm hoping just, man, come out of the second half with a little bit better uh, better gameplay, get it together, and he almost starts with some decent shielding there from the kickoff, uh, and here's another corner kick. I was really disappointed in some of my corner kick defense. Um, this one's a little bit better. At least I have a hole at chasing down. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Oh, geez. That, yeah, that is a gamble right there. I was in the right place with Hullet. That's why I assumed that this was going to be better defending from yours truly, but after I missed that tackle, I knew we had trouble. See, all these defender blocks and kind of YOLO clearances from a goalkeeper. That's not what you want to see. That's not good gameplay. It's not high percentage. It went my favor uh, in this game or so far in this match, but it's not good. It's not something I would teach. I wouldn't recommend it. As you see, we're still trying to kind of hit these counters. 
Uh, there's a mistake from our opponent, though. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, at the end of the day, playing FIFA is often whoever makes the fewest amount of mistakes will win on a higher consistency. It's too bad right there. I think Pog was off sides. Yeah, just a tad bit because we did get a nice layoff. Rude Hullet in that position. 100% it's going to be on frame. Uh, will it go in? I'd say there's a good solid chance. Left foot inside the box. Nice step from uh, Laurent Blanc. Um, and we're still working a little more on the ground game though if you're seeing this I know there's gonna be a little pooch chip but that's much better than those big chip through balls and he's he's fortunate that was a warning sign to my opponent because he was trying to uh, or he had stepped up with smalling and it ends up kind of hitting him in the body and see another good 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 ball decent we got a shot a lot earlier in this half compared to the first half so we were warming on into it corner kick a little more of my typical ex execution we get the drop off Ronaldo Ronaldo does what he Ronaldo does. And at this point, I knew my opponent had to be mad. He had to be a little bit uh, a little bit on the salty side because he's it just came off a half where he kind of outplayed me, but I got a goal in the 45th minute. Uh, and then in the second half, I wouldn't say that he's outplayed me, but he, he was pressuring, and now here we go, we got a corner kick. You know, I didn't get a, a goal from the run of play, and I decided to pause the game. I was like, look, sometimes I like to coast with the momentum, but I felt like this guy's good. Go into a 4-2-3-1. He's playing a wide formation. Uh, a 4-2-3-1 matches a 4-3-3 pretty well. Uh, it takes away a lot of the wings. And then you also open up wing counters on your own. I didn't make any subs. Ronaldo's up top. We've got Griezmann, Best, and Hullet in, in my midfield uh, with Best and Griezmann on the outsides. It's nice to have a left footer on the left outside cam position. It's always a good look. And at this point, I'm just trying to still create solid attacks while being, for the most part, safe. I don't want to lose a game off gifts. And speaking of gifts, literally just after the pause, almost messed that up. Pass it to Ronaldo, Ronaldo to Rude Hullet. Rude Hullet's always going to slot that into the back of the net. I believe in his finishing, even though there's going to be something upcoming. I know there's a mistake that I have maybe in the next 10 minutes of game time where, as much as I love Rude, you're going to be like, all right, Mike, come on, man. That didn't look so hot. That didn't look so good. Uh, but. At this point, I know my opponent's frustrated, so all I gotta do is hold it down. I got a two goal spread, and if you're someone that's watching this video and you blow these types of games, where you're up in the 65th minute, you're up two goals, then this might be for you right here. These next, uh, these next, I guess, 35 minutes or 25 minutes of the game, you're gonna see me and not hold the ball in the corner, not walk it this way, but just try to change the tempo. My opponent's been playing pretty quick for the most part. He's, he's got a lot of bodies going forward on his attacks, and I don't want him to be able to play fast. That doesn't benefit me. I already have the lead, uh, and I just need to make sure that I'm keeping that lead. That's the first, the first priority. I'm keeping the lead, and then the second priority may be scoring another goal, adding to it. Uh, if it. If it's there, if it's open, use it. Take it. But you want to be more so careful with, with just keeping that lead. A lot of times I wouldn't go short here, but I saw him back off on the wing back, so I was like, cool, Kyle Walker's gonna be wide open. And I'm always looking for George Best and Griezmann when I'm playing the 4-2-3-1 on the wings, because that's where the space uh, tends to open up if your opponent is pressing in a wild manner. If he's all over the place, that's where you're gonna find openings, that's where you're gonna find opportunities uh, to beat somebody into space, let the clock keep ticking, maybe get a counter attack, pass it across, etc. Uh, here we go with George Best. And we're looking inside. Kind of unlucky for that not to connect. But I can even see that my opponent's frustration is real. Uh, his buildup I don't think is as patient as it was earlier in the game. He's now looking to go fast while I'm looking to go slow. Uh, and because I have that two goal spread, I've got leverage. And leverage, oh it's powerful. That's why they always talk about it in business. Uh, and you're going to see me once again very patient. Uh, a lot of pace control. Um, solid build up. We got Alexandro kind of on the break. This should be a goal. This should be a goal. Layoff is on point. Rude just slices it. I'm not sure if I went for a low drip in there, if that's just a normal shot, but that's very rare. It's out of character for me. Um, I mean, we all miss finishes here and, here and there, but that is a bread and butter, pretty classic uh, type of finish. Uh, if you're talking about FIFA 17 and goals that go into the back of the net. We're now in the 80th. And if you're up two in the 80th, you cannot allow yourself to blow that game. You cannot ruin that matchup. That just is the worst for morale. And if you do blow one of those games, get the hell off FPT Champs. Put down uh, your controller, walk away from the console, turn it off. 
because there's no way you're going to recover well in the next two or three games or something along those lines. No way. Not when it's a bad beat, not when you had that type of lead. And I'm watching them back off. When I send those runners uh, and I see a defender or a midfielder chase with a runner, that's perfect. I'm just going to sit tight then in the midfield or pass it around a little bit as I'm looking for the gaps. But there's no reason for me to force the issue. Um, my, my big... Uh, or at least mentally right now, I'm thinking, okay, Mike, don't make any dumb mistakes as we make a dumb mistake. Thankfully, uh, Blanc's got me. Um, I'm going to get to take care of business there. But uh, my, mentally right now, I'm just thinking, cool, make safe passes. Try not to commit your uh, CDMs into the attack because they don't need to be into the attack. That doesn't benefit you as we get just a perfect, uh, I mean, textbook, uh, threaded through ball. Those have always been great down the line, and somehow... The YOLO slide tackle works for him. Uh, my opponent, I felt like, kept his back line way too far back for losing the game. That might have been his mistake if he's watching this. Uh, if you're trying to increase pressure at the end of the game, I think his issue was his back line is just way too far back. It, it looks like he has maybe pressure on 40 or something along those lines, but when you're losing and you need uh, you know, help, in terms of bringing up that back line and and putting it all together you got to do something different as i throw out just a random skill i'm just clocking the time at the 90th minute we're good to go here even if my opponent were to score unless i just fell apart it, it, it wouldn't change the outcome of this this match but i wanted to showcase this game not because i played so amazing or because my opponent was just so amazing but i just found it to be one of the harder matchups in terms of i got dominated in one half and then i felt that i did a lot better in the second half as you see it's wrapped up uh, but if you enjoyed the video uh, make sure to drop a thumbs up uh, let me know in the comments what do you have uh, in terms of questions feedback i'm definitely interested in going back and forth with you guys on some dialogue I just thought i'd do more of a live com kind of giving you what I'm thinking about, what's happening in this match, the mistakes that I'm making, what's going well, etc. But until next time, my friends, peace.